Good morning, everybody. This is Kim with PerryandKim.com. I'm going to show you how to use the inventory loader file in Seller Central to delete a whole lot of SKUs at once. If you do retail arbitrage or for some other reason you are uh, often selling out of SKUs and you probably won't be replenishing them, it's not a bad idea to delete them from your inventory. And you might not want to do it 50 or 100 or 200 at a time in the front end of Amazon. So here's how you can do it in the back a whole bunch at once. Keep in mind when you delete SKUs from your inventory, this isn't just closing them. This removes all your contributions to that ASIN also. So if you were the one who created it initially, or if you uploaded new images, if you updated the search terms, the keywords, the title, any changes you made are going to be rolled back and pulled off Amazon. So other people who are selling it might suddenly find out that the listing is suppressed because the image is gone if you were the one who did it. If you um, added it to a parent-child relationship, if you were the one who initially did that and you delete the parent, or if you delete those specific children, then anyone who is still selling it is going to find that it's orphaned. So this can cause problems for other people. It's something we need to weigh out and decide if we want those SKUs hanging around in our inventory or not. But assuming you've decided that you do want to delete them and all your contributions, here's how you can do thousands of them at once if you need to. So in Seller Central, you are going to go to Inventory, Add Products via Upload, once you come over here, scroll down, 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 we are looking for the template. Inventory files, we want the inventory loader template. Now it's going to open up a window, and there's a reminder that doing things with uploads is only available to professional seller plans. That means if you're paying the $39.99 a month, you can do this download the template and when it downloads here it comes actually that's the one that I had previously loaded for you but we're waiting for the new one to pop up here we go you're gonna have to click enable editing that's just a safety feature in most computers and from there we can click over to the one that I already prepared I just went and copied a few empty old SKUs in here. I checked that the inventory is already gone from these and I'm going to delete them from my inventory permanently. The only fields that are required are the SKU and then over in the add delete field you want to put X. That tells them to delete it. If you put D all that does is closes the listing. It tells them that you have zero quantity in stock and it changes it to merchant fulfilled by default. So if you have FBA inventory and you put D in these, what you're gonna see is that all the inventory in those SKUs go stranded because you just changed the listings to merchant fulfilled with zero quantity. You don't wanna use D in this, in this case. You wanna use X that deletes the, the SKU from your inventory and it deletes all the changes or updates that you ever made to that ASIN. So once you get your whole list in there, doesn't matter if they're hyperlinked, mine went in that way, but they don't have to. You are going to go to File, Save As, and you want to make sure you save it as a TXT file. If you don't, you'll get a nice little error message telling that you did it wrong. Mine already exists because I already did this once. You'll get a warning that the TXT file doesn't save all the other sheets and information. You're okay with that. You're not worried about that. All right, so once you saved it with all your SKUs and with the X's, as a TXT file, you're going to come back to this same page where you found the, the blank and you're going to go to check and upload. And why isn't mine going? Oh, come on, be nice. The page is locked up for some reason. Check and upload your file. All right, if you want to play it super safe, you can run it through the check function first. Step one, check your file. If you don't want to play it super safe, then you can come right down here to step two, upload file. And the last one that you used is chosen. So since I already did this once, it had inventory loader file pre-chosen. If you haven't done this recently, you need to choose inventory loader file. Come down here, choose your file. Mine is in my downloads. 
and upload. And that's all you have to do. All those SKUs in the next 15 or 15 minutes or so are going to be deleted. A um, whole lot easier than doing it 50 or 100 or 200 at a time, right? Especially if you might have 10 or 20 or 40,000 SKUs. Depends on whether you've been maintaining this. If you care now, you can do them all in a whole lot faster than I just did because I was doing more talking than working. All right. Use this information wisely. Goodbye.